This season in one word would be... Explosive. Explosive is a great word. Um, I'm gonna say festive. It is Ooh, yes, it festive. is festive. It's um, very interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. It's exciting. Um, I, I, I was say, gonna say grounded, but none of those kind of mean grounded. Well, I was gonna go with like acceptance. I oh, think yeah, it's a yeah. big season of acceptance. Not so much Ooh. forgiveness. You know what? But acceptance. It's a season of growth. Yes. 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 Growth is the word. Actually, we find out our dad is alive in this third season. We, the audience found out that our dad was alive in the last season and Eddie found out. Yeah. But we didn't know. So that's, you know, that's something, one of the big things that happens in, in third season. And you see how both sisters react so differently to the news. And, and that, that pretty much yeah. like carries on throughout the season. And we're going to see the effects of that huge secret on them, their relationships, and the bar. And also I think what it's like to feel abandoned maybe by someone who's no longer there, like Vidalia, but then feeling abandoned by someone who actually is there. And that's a whole other relationship that you see each of them take very drastic different approaches to. Eddie's love interest. Well, I think the audiences have been like, okay, in season one, could Eddie meet somebody? But, you know, uh, Eddie needs to grieve. And uh, so, yeah, this is uh, finding out the news of the the father still being alive that's still husband to Vidalia is, is something that... Uh, totally knocks Eddie out, like, like off of that balance, whatever balance they could get from the last season. So going into this one, they are really, they're really like discovering a lot of stuff about this uh, new world, actually. Like they're seeing Boyle Heights and, um, and everybody around with new eyes. And she's very hungry. <laughs> I, think it's important, I think it's important to say, though, that season one, transpired in like a week. Yeah. Yes. Season two started three days after that, mm -hmm. and then that was, was like, like two weeks or a month or, or something. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. It's still and too then, soon. So it's still very soon. It's still, the <laughs> yeah. death is very recent. Wait, and then season it's three. It's not too soon, it's just soon. It's not Eddie's too ready. soon. Eddie's Who knows ready. what too soon it yeah. is? You People know, like there are no rules, ways. but yeah. you know. People get eaten out on the stairs <laughs> at their mother's wake. And that's you that know, people happens. use a vibrator <laughs> angrily. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. Nothing's right, it's just different. In, yeah. the words, in the words of Neil Horan, when you're with me, no judgment. <laughs> <laughs> Maris, pobrecita. She, you know, left her friend hanging. She left them hanging. So she's kind of like on a little island by herself. Sad and alone. <laughs> but um, <laughs> I, I, I am excited to play with that a little bit and then also get to see how she navigates that because now there is this friendship that has grown and there is the the bond that is with Vigilantes and with Yoli and this season she's kind of finding a new path which is really cool. You know life's complicated man and I think also uh, in the second season we see this very idealized uh, version of Nico uh, in the way that when you meet somebody and you kind of have those little buttery feelings of, for them they look that way, but then as you get to know somebody, you start finding out, why is Nico there? Why is she staying at someone's house? Yeah. What is really going on here? Yeah. Hmm, she interesting. really single. <laughs> <laughs> she really who she claims to be. Dun, dun, dun. I'm kidding, no, she is, but. <laughs> you, know, you know Vida is all about secrets, and like secrets being revealed, so mm -hmm. that's not, like, third season is not the exception. There's a lot of secrets coming yeah. out in third season. That yeah, that was like one of the, the things boat. that Tanya really talked about during season two because I think people really like Nico and we're like, oh, great, like, cute, we love someone. And then it's like, Mah. you know, <laughs> Tanya doesn't want people to get too comfortable with their yeah. feelings, you know, so. Yeah. Nico's an FBI agent. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>